Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we've got the UV17R Plus. Did they fix it? Is it all good? Is it even better? Let's find out. All right, we have a new radio from Baofeng and this one has some handwriting on it that I didn't put there. That's interesting. I wonder how that worked out. This is the UV17R Plus with an FCC ID of 2AJGM-UV17. UV17R, 2AJGM-UV17. UV17R Plus, 2AJGM-UV17. Hmm. Let's see if this is any better than the last UV17 that we referenced. All right, we have the super secret FBI earpiece again. Belt clip, USB charger, USB-A to USB-C cable, and antenna, let's put that on. The battery is a 2500 milliamp hour, 18.5 watt hour, and the charge limit voltage is 8.4 volts. The battery model is RL-17, and it says battery on the back, and it has a USB charging door on it. Let's take a look and see if you can charge it without it being plugged into the radio, which you should be able to. I don't see any reason why you should not be able to. And there is a little light there, so that light should light up. And it does, it lights up red. All right, that screen is a little scratched up. It's a good thing there was a screen protector on it. Now it is not scratched anymore. All right, they did not send a drop-in cradle with this one, but it probably still works with the other one. You get a lanyard. Don't know if I mentioned the belt clip, but there's the belt clip. Welcome. Oh, there she is. It says the battery is full. That's a good place to start. So this radio is not gonna be all that different than the UV17R that we did before. This is just the plus model, and now it's showing that it has a GPS. Let's see. Scramble looks new. Firmware. I don't see any settings in there for GPS. Okay, let's take a look at our wonderful manual. Interesting. The manual is entirely in English and I saw no mention of the GPS on the top. Let's go take a look online. This is the UV17R Plus website. I want to see what the difference is. So first we're going to start off with the UV17R regular version. And it is telling me that one piece is $24.99, which is currently on sale. And they have free shipping for orders over $100. So get four of them. So that's the basics on where we were. I did do a video on this radio. We do know quite a bit about this radio. I will leave some links for those videos at the top of the screen and down in the description below. But if you take a look over here, this is the UV17R Plus model. And it says it is an upgraded version of the UV17R. It brings you an expanded receiving frequency band. Let's take a look at that. It is 76 to 108 on FM. AM 108 to 136, VHF 136 to 174, 220 to 260, UHF 350 to 390, 400 to 520, 10 NOAA stations, and it will transmit 2 meter and 70 centimeter. Hey, look at that. They got my video on their website. Frequency range is 144 to 148, 420 to 450, 78 to 108, and 160. So yeah, so there's definitely some added stuff there for air band and some added stuff there for, uh, what is it, 220 and for 350 to 390. So you, you do get quite a bit more frequency receive range but it only transmits on 2 and 70, which is fine. I really don't want to transmit outside of those. There is a version that is a tri-bander that will do 220. This is not it. There'll be a link for all of those different radio models down in the description below. Frequency scan and copy the old radio. Oh, hold on. Let's get back to the top. An extended battery boost from 1800 to 2500. I guess I'm gonna have to go get the radio and take a look. All right, this is the original UB17. Let's take a look at its battery. I bet I screwed it down. Yep, I screwed it down. Let's unscrew that. Yep, so just to prove that they're right, this is the 1800 milliamp hour battery, and I did show you the battery capacity on the other one. So that is good. And while I am looking at this radio, I do notice that it also has the same GPS insignia, icon, logo, whatever, at the top of the radio, and this one does not have GPS. Now let's come back over here. Next one is USB-C charging, which it does have. We showed that. Safeguard your conversations with our new voice scrambler function. So... That's kind of illegal, unless it's just encoded or something. We'll have to play with that a little bit. But I would assume that you need two radios that understand how to scramble and unscramble. And I don't have two radios, so we'll just be able to hear that it's scrambled. All right, we have our favorite tester here. This is the Shorecom SW102, and we're gonna be testing power in the upper corner. We're gonna be testing SWR here, and it will read the frequency out right over here. So we were on 146.58 earlier on low power. And we are almost five watts, I saw at times. Let's do it again. 
Yeah, 4.06 watts, 2.09 to 1 SWR on low power. Let's change power Ooh. here. High power, 5.5 watts, 1.91. SWR. That's interesting. Not a lot of difference between high power and low power. Five, five, six, zero, zero, zero. We're on high power on 446. 5.25 watts, 2 to 1 SWR. Now on low power, 4.04 watts, 2 to 1 SWR, 2.09 to 1 SWR. Interesting. All right, next up is some cleanliness testing. This is my Tiny SA Nano VNA Go Bag. I will have a link for that up above, but I need my attenuator and I need my Tiny SA. One, four, six, five, two, zero. And then this test is a lot of fun to do. There's a whole bunch of settings inside of the Tiny SA that you need to do in order to get into a harmonics test. So we're going to measure harmonic of 146.52 megahertz. And then we want to display, draw a line at minus 16.02, one X. And then we want to level, external gain, minus 40 to account for the external attenuator. And so what you'll see is a blue line on the screen right here. That blue line shows you, there we go. That blue line shows you the second requirement. The first requirement is 40 dB below the fundamental. The second requirement is 25 microwatts. And that's what this minus 1602 dB line is, the blue line. And then over here, you can see the gain of 40 minus 40 to account for the attenuator. I'm gonna go ahead and key up on 146.52. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna work its way out here. And I'm gonna say my call sign, Kilo Mike 9 Golf for ID, even though I'm going through a dummy load into a device. And look at that secondary harmonic. It is minus eight. That's on low power. Now let's change this over to high power. Menu. Power. Confirm. All right, there's high power. Oh boy, it's still going, but it ain't going to get there. All right, we're minus 18 on our secondary. It needs to be below that blue line as well as 40 difference between the two of those two. The Baofeng UV17R Plus. I was wrong, it doesn't have GPS in it. It also doesn't seem to be very clear on the Tiny SA, and it has some scramble functions, and it has some expanded receive coverage. Are these enough things to make you think it's a good radio? Do you still think it's a bad radio? What kind of radio do you think it is? Leave a comment down below as to what your thoughts are on Baofeng making radios like this. There is some links down in the description as well for some more information on this radio and the other radios that I've shown you and some of the tools that I've used in the video if you want to get some more information on those things as well. Otherwise, there's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.